Good afternoon, everybody. Welcome to the Sports Box, where the only opinion that matters is right here. I am Mike Galletta, a.k.a. Hampton Mike, bringing you another, another solid special. Well, everybody knows what the hell we do. So we, we, all, we do is, all we do is give you great advice, and you watch, you subscribe. So get on it right now. I am here with Brian Tard. We are here talking about the Phillies today. And Brian, I just want to bring up about the Phillies. Not that I'm a big fan because, mm -hmm. uh, you know, I'm, again, trying to be objective about the sure. Phillies and stuff. Sure. The Phillies are off to a great start. Nobody thought they would do it the way they are. But they're not a World Series contender. They're not a playoff team. This team right now is doing it because their pitching is holding on for them. If you look at their scoring, you know, they're winning games 1-0, 3-0, 3-2, which is fine. Hey, you play like this the rest of the year. That's great. I'm just saying it's kind of following what they said. Their pitching is performing for them right now, and their bullpen hasn't blown up. The problem I see with this team is the pitching staff is getting stretched out. It, it, it could come to a, a complete halt soon. Well, I mean, it, it's only, you know, we're not even in June yet. Correct. Um, you know, I don't think anybody really thought this team was going to be anywhere close to anything this year. So all of the, what's going on right now is all gravy. But, uh, you know, they are winning games, but, you know, they're, they're bottom six, bottom six or so in the league uh, in run differential. So, you know, I think that, you know, they're winning those one-run games. I think they've won the great record in one-run games. Um, you know, nobody can really be upset with anything that's going to happen this season. I mean, nobody expected anything there. Um, the management's doing obviously really well for them. It's very, very hard to win a lot of one-run games in baseball. That's one of those things that's it's hard to, you know, keep continuing to do. So, you know, tip of the cap to them. But, you know, again, they're two games back right now in the division. Um, if you said if if someone's to said to a Phillies fan that they're going to be two games back in the division, it's oh, going to be almost your last out. They would have been like, "Oh, we'll take that all day long." So I mean, hey, listen, whatever happens is going to happen the rest of the way. It's a it, it's a team in transition, getting out of the old guard, you know, Howard's contract and things like that, setting themselves up for the future. Um, but hey, listen, good job by them. I mean, they're playing a lot better than anybody gave them any credit for. So good job yep. by them. And you know, Freddie Galvis leading off. I, I I still don't know if that's a good fit there, but. You know what? You got to you got to slide somebody in there, and that's that's the person to slide in there right now. Um, outfield struggling, power hitting outfield that they're really really struggling right now. And again, they, they need power there. Peter Borges coming over from St. Louis, you know, batting two hundred three. But again, you know, we're we're picking out different things about the Phillies about this and that. But the bottom line comes down to again, the pitching is helping them out. Um, you know, Velasquez is having a solid year. Mm -hmm. um, you know, Eichhoff, he's he's struggling a little bit, but you got Aaron Nola who is playing well. Um, he is, I think, what they thought he was going to be. Um, their bullpen, not hurting them at all. Um, you know, you're talking about Gomez. <laughs> I think he's tied for actually the major league tie right now for 16. I mean, again, Phillies are playing well. I just to try to calm me down a little bit, Philly fans. I know I've been out in the public this weekend, and some people are, oh, man, oh, you know, what happens to the trade deadline if they can acquire some talent? Come on. I mean, let, let, let's let's be realistic. This team is rebuilding. They got a good farm system. They have to come back a little bit. I think if anything, if you go out there and if you do like a little sugar buzz, a little, little short term gain, you know, it hurts yeah. you in the long term. Again, this is not a season that is going to happen. No. Keep building towards something. And you know, it doesn't and, really. Yeah, and, and you know help what? You. They they they've had a, a chance of a good schedule too. They've got the Braves a bunch of times. They got the Braves again this week, um, and and they're good for them. You know what? Play all the bad teams now. Get them out of the way. When it does come, when you have to play interleague play and you start playing the better teams, I think then the Phillies are going to come back a little bit. Are they, hey, I had to get a year winning 70 games. I think they win a little more than that sure. this year. But, you know, hey, whatever it is, Philly fans, listen, enjoy it, but know the situation. That's all I'm telling you. Okay, Brian, anything don't, to... don't get ahead of yourself, I guess, right? Uh, absolutely. Again, they're building towards absolutely. something, and that's exactly. great. You know, enjoy it, watch it, and have fun. But, you know, again, it's, get, temper the expectations. It's the point of being a fan. you got to go sure. through this process, and in two years, I think the Phillies could be back. In the playoff hunt, and definitely, definitely a contender for the for the whole thing again. So that's all the time we have for the sports box. Keep an eye out. We got some good stuff coming. Any comments, relations, anything? Comment in. Let us know how we're doing. Let us know that we suck. Let us know you suck. Whatever the case may be, I don't care. So at the sports box, the only opinion that matters. Brian, it's right here. It's right here. See ya. Don't forget to subscribe.